Serious, people of ass credit, what is your scariest encounter with the paranormal, aliens, cryptids, and or other unexplainable phenomena? This is a little convoluted and I will try my best to make it clear. I have never told anyone the paranormal part, as feel no one would believe me. My father and his brother Gary were lifelong dairy farmers in Wisconsin. We live less than two miles apart. When needed we would trade help and labor on harvest and planting jobs that demanded it. Many times dad would send me, saying, you have to go and help at Gary's. Eventually, I took over our farm and cousin Mike took over from his father Gary. Gary passed away 12 years ago and Gary's widow eventually met a nice man and moved in with him. They are both in their late 70s now. Mike moved back into the farmhouse. Mike sold the dairy herd after Gary died and got a 9 to 5 job, I rent his land. My dad passed away over 6 years ago after me taking care of him for 18 years. He lived in this house his whole life. I sold my dairy herd soon after. About a year after dad passed away, on an October night, Mike started a fire in the wood furnace in the basement, and went to bed. His sister had just gotten out of a bad relationship and was living there too. She got home from her job about midnight, and added some wood to the furnace, and went to bed as well. The story I told everyone when this happened was this, I was coming home from looking at equipment for sale across the state. I stopped in a nearby city to see a late movie. Then hit a bar for a few, soft drinks. Then had a meal at a 24 hour restaurant. On the way home about 3 am, I passed by Mike's place and saw fire coming out the chimney and smoke coming out from the basement door. I dialed 911 with the location and ran into the house yelling for them to get up. There was minimal smoke in the upstairs. Mike and I went downstairs with a fire extinguisher and found an area about 3 feet square at the base of the chimney where the floor joists were burning. We put it out with the extinguisher and some water. The fire department arrived and put out the chimney fire no real smoke damage upstairs and minimal repairs to the house, but a few more minutes and the fire would have burned up into the kitchen. The truth of what happened was this, I had gotten home about 10.30 and went to bed. Now some of this I am not clear on. I am not sure if I dreamed it, or if it was some sort of apparition. Close to 3 am, dad opened the door to my room and turned on the light, and said, get up, you have go help at Gary's. I remember saying, in the morning. He said, in his most authoritative voice, no, right now. I sat bolt upright in bed. My room door was open and the hallway light was on. I tried to dismiss it as imagination, but I knew I had turned off that light and shut my door. I realized with the adrenaline rush and my lingering doubts, I would not get back to sleep. So for my peace of mind I decided to get dressed and drive over to check on Mike's place. That's when I spotted the chimney fire. Like I said, I never told anyone this because I fear no one would believe me. Edit, yes, dad died in this house. I heard my voice whispered in my ear. It was like 2 AM, and terrifying I suddenly felt just a heavy malicious presence that I had to hide before like a half an hour before I got the courage up to run to my room, I was on the computer downstairs. Eventually like a week later I convinced myself I had just been hearing things. Then it happened again. The same thing, a male voice inches from my left ear. It didn't happen again after that, and I once more forced myself to think I made it up, while I believe in paranormal, I would prefer to not have that happen thank you very much, until about a year later when I casually mentioned it to my mother, and she told me she also heard a male voice whispering my name downstairs. Don't live in that house anymore and while I miss the house itself, I do not miss whatever the hell that was. Long story short when I was in the 12th grade I wasn't turning my work in for one class and the teacher was yelling at me and under my breath I said I hope your husband dies. Now mind you I was just mad at the time. Within the next 10 minutes I regretted it. Fast forward like 4 hours. My teacher's husband died of a heart attack. For the next week I was just out of it. Shit still spooks me to this day. I honestly do feel sorry for my teacher though she was one of the only teachers that actually made a pretty solid effort to educate me. But ye man that's my story. One day I unplugged this mini fan because it kept turning on in the middle of the night. Which was absolutely terrifying on its own. I always had to leave my bed, it's one with stairs. Don't know the English word sorry, so it was always a hassle to be woken up from a fan that suddenly turned on. However. That night it turned on. The cable was in the power outlet. So I first turn off the thing go back to bed and a few hour later it would turn back on. Sick and terrified of it. I unplugged the cord and cut it. The next day I confronted my mother and father about it but they didn't dare to touch it and also haven't been into my room that day. Still bothers me to this day. I was sleeping in one morning and was kind of half asleep. 
You know how when you've technically gotten enough sleep, but you want more, and your brain is like nah? It was like that, but I was mostly still asleep. I was just kind of laying there when I heard an ominous female voice yell at me to wake up. Whatever that thing was followed it with an ear-splitting scream that about made me shit the bed. TBH I regularly see paranormal stuff and it usually doesn't bother me, but that scared me half to death. Pretty late, I always miss these, but here goes. I lived in an apartment complex for 7 years and experienced a whole lot of weird stuff, many with witnesses. But the most unnerving was this. I was laying in bed just getting comfy, I was rolled onto my side facing the wall, when I felt someone sit on the bed behind me. I thought maybe my mom came in and I turned to look but there was no one. I could still feel the dip in the bed. The door was closed, the light was off, I was totally alone. I was freaked out so I rolled back over and stared at the wall, trying to get the courage to reach over and turn the lamp on. Well, suddenly I feel whatever was sitting there, lay down and put an arm around me. I felt the pressure of an arm on my side. I felt the dip of weight behind me. I was too scared to move at that point since I didn't want to turn around and see what was there. Eventually I fell asleep. Nothing stranger than usual in the morning. I've never spoken about this, poor typed, so this may sound all fucked up, but here goes. I was 5 or 6 and staying at my dad's farm in Northern California, roughly 6 acres and surrounded by a lot of nothing. It was a hot summer day and I was just standing in the yard out by one of the barns near the edge of the woods, I had been running around playing and was now just killing time, holding a garden hose and just spraying in the air slash ground, etc. I was sort of daydreaming and started spraying the dirt a few feet away and began to sort of dig a hole with the stream. The water would push the wet soil away, the hole would fill with dirty water, I'd blast it back out again. I was doing this over and over making the hole deeper and deeper. Eventually, have no idea how long, but a while, I had sprayed a hole a few feet deep. And I just kept spraying deeper, wider. Suddenly all of the water slash mud just fell away. Like the bottom was quickly removed, picture a toilet flushing but very fast, leaving a dark hole about a foot or so across. Suddenly something slapped up against the opening, filling the hole completely. I heard it smack against the wet mud. It was wet and pink like flesh, but had no discernible markings or identifying features. Picture a hole in a sheet with someone's cheek pressed to the other side, but huge. The flesh was flexing somewhat, like what your elbow looks like when you bend it, if an elbow was two feet wide. I stood there literally paralyzed. I couldn't move a muscle. I am not sure if it was shock, but I wasn't scared so much as stunned. I remember thinking if that's its elbow or shoulder or something, then it has to be gigantic. Suddenly, quick as it appeared, it slipped away. Whole thing lasted maybe a minute. Water filled the hole again. I set down the hose and walked back to the main house, then never spoke of it. Hell, I didn't even remember it until I was in my 30s. No idea what it was to this day, FTR am not a believer in anything supernatural, spiritual, etc. In my 20s I lived with my best friend who is special. Like the sixth sense kid special. One day we were chilling with her BF getting high and watching TV. I was sitting on the floor closest to the door and I noticed something down the, well lit, hallway moving in my peripheral. When I turned to look there was, what I can only describe as, a black mist coming fast towards me. I screamed and balled up because there was no time to run. It felt like a cool wind blew past me. My friend and her boyfriend had no idea what was happening, they hadn't seen it. I bolted up and screamed for them to run. The BF and I were first out of the room and when we looked back I saw it. The mist had morphed into what looked like the torso of a man pulling itself towards us with its arms. There were horns on the head and it was fast. Then, as fast as it was there it was gone. Just gone. We had all seen it and we were pretty shook up but what do you do? Call the cops or a church or something? I guess you post it on Reddit. A couple of friends and I were riding in my friend's grandma's SUV when we were about 12 years old, and about to turn down a dirt road to drop someone off. Up ahead we saw a really bright orb like light, about a level from the ground. We all saw it, and thought it was weird, but the grandma kind of brushed it off. As we were driving down the dirt road, I looked out of the window, and saw it following alongside of us through the middle of a pasture, and as we turned down my friend's driveway, it hovered really fast in front of us, and out of sight. We all sat there, dumbfounded at what we just witnessed. Even the grandma was visibly shaken, and said what the hell was that? This was in a very rural area. It cut through several barbed wire fences, always moving at relatively the same speed, and never moving above or below a level. Nobody we explained it to really thought anything of it. 
14 years later, whenever I see my friends we always talk about it. My house was haunted by some guy growing up. When he was alive he was a rabbit breeder and pyromaniac. He slowly slipped into insanity and locked himself in his house with guns before he committed suicide at age 37. He used to scare me and my siblings constantly, my sister the most since he lived in her closet with our pet rabbit's cage. In our dining room there was a fireplace with a big 100 pound mirror chained above the mantel. On the mantel was a couple of pictures and a small clock in a glass dome that my parents got as a wedding gift. One time we heard something shatter in the dining room. When we went to go see what happened, the big ass mirror was at a 90 degrees angle barely touching the top of the dome of the clock and held in place by the lower chain links. Nothing was broken. I was at my friend's house, and there was a park down the block. This was a regular park, swings, a slide, all that. Through the back of the park, you could see the backs of houses, their backyards, and if they had windows, into their house a little bit. One day, we decided to go to the park, because we were bored. Everything was normal until we got to the park, where I saw into one of the houses, which had been abandoned. There was a lump of a person on the ground, and a ghost of a lady hovering to the left of the body. My friend saw it too, and we ran back to the house and hid. I've never been back to that park since.